What is up, you guys? I am just in my um, automations, and I just thought this was a, a huge deal, and, and, and this is a big deal, and this is super important um, for anyone building a business online. If you're building a business online, you're making sales online, and you're capturing leads online. That's what I mean, building a business, right? Um, if you're just giving out information, and you're just blogging, blogging for the hell of it, then okay, cool, whatever. But for those of you that are actually capturing leads, and you're doing it through the internet, um, this is super, super important. It's, and, and all it is, is automation. It's email automation. It's list automation. It's being able to segment based on different activities that specific leads are doing. Right. Um, and so what I needed to do is make sure that particular lead, particular leads that go onto a specific list are also taken off of other list should it be needed okay because you don't want to be sending out an email to one list talking about one thing and it should have went to the other list because those are that's that was the audience that was that was on it initially like or that was that was the audience that was that was um that the message was intentionally for right you want to make sure you're sending out emails to the right people on the right list and as you have people coming in from so many different channels it could be confusing. It can get confusing, but to tell you the truth, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to dumb it down for you. I'm here to really tell you it's super basic. It's super simple. If, 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 if your lead does this, then do that. If they do that, then do this, right? That's automation. That, that's telling the system what to do based on what's happening. So in this case, it's based on, 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 on opting in. It's based on opting into a landing page. When a person opts in, where does that lead go? right? It goes on to a list and or an email sequence, which is your email autoresponder. Those are the, those are the two places that a lead goes into, right? In, in the status, those are the two statuses, right? It goes into your email list right away. And then, it, and then it goes to an email sequence if you have a sequence set up, which you should, right? Those are the automated emails that go out over the next few days because someone opted in, right? So, that entire thing, you guys, is automations. That's super, super important. And all I was doing right now is just um, documenting, documenting what I what I got going on. So what I'm going to set up real quick is an automation for anyone who becomes any lead who subscribes. And there's so many different um, pinpoints. There's so many different um, determining factors, lead subscribes to sequence, lead completes sequence, lead unsubscribes. If they unsubscribe from this sequence, okay, put them on this other sequence, right? That's what this is all about. Um, if the lead visits a page, make sure they get the next email, right? Like customer buys a product, what list are they subscribed to? Or, or what list do you want to unsubscribe to? Uh, unsubscribe them from from right so if i buy your product right there's a difference if i buy your product you, i click i go check out i buy your product right i land on a thank you page i i click i put my credit card number i click freaking buy i go to a thank you page a confirmation page that's your thank you page people who land on that page are your customers right so i could tell the system anyone who buys this product make sure they're subscribed to this list right so that's what all this is about you guys this is super powerful and um, there's so many different things that i can go off of i'm going to go off of lead, lead subscribes to list okay i'm setting this one setting this one up for this specific part of my business and it's this one right here so i'm going to add that so if anyone if anyone subscribes to that list then unsubscribe them, unsubscribe them from, let's go with unsubscribe them from, I have so many lists, give, this, give me a second here because this is super important. I want to unsubscribe them from... that list and i want to unsubscribe them
from that list. And I want to unsubscribe them from. Okay, so. Let's also, let's also unsubscribe them from, that list and then also unsubscribe or damn it i put subscribe then also unsubscribe them from this right here unsubscribe them from that so if they fill up that form, okay, then I'm unsubscribing them. If they're on any of the, these other lists, that's, that's again, th th this is me saying if they're on any of these other lists, right? I want to unsubscribe them from that list because in the future, I throw emails out. I, I, I blast emails out to people on that free book customer list. I blast emails out to people who bought my book, right? The paid customers. And a majority of those emails are based on getting that person on the phone with me, booking an appointment. Let's get a strategy call going, right? That's how I build my agency. And so I don't want to be sending those people on that list certain emails when they're already my client, right? So this right here, you guys, I'm telling you, I don't think there's enough people talking about this right here. This is everything. You got to be knowing who the hell is getting your messages and who's not, right? And, and you got to have it automated based on certain activities that are going on and happening on your web pages this is super powerful 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 and you can automate this in so many different ways this one is is pertain th this example is based on this list subscribing to the list as i showed you there's so many other options we can we can base it off of but i'm going with whoever subscribes to this list i need them off of these other lists and let me see if i can choose one more i think you can go up to five so I'm going to unsubscribe. Let's see if I can unsubscribe them from, from a fifth one, which I think I can. Um, let's go with, let's go with um, book customers who completed five steps. Should I put them on that? Let's, let's unsubscribe them from that one. And I think five is the max. So you can unsubscribe them from five. Actually, let me see if I can do one more. I think I thought it was just five. One, two, three, four, five. I thought that was it, but let's try another one. So let's also unsubscribe them from. Awesome. Damn. So I think I can keep going on this one. So unsubscribe them from that one as well. Let's see if I can unsubscribe them from one more. Unsubscribe them from, let's see if we can do one more. Unsubscribe them from. Um, let's also go with that one. And that's pretty much all I need. That's all I need. But damn, I think I can keep going. I thought it was just five, but you can keep going. So they subscribe to that list, man. They're off of these other ones, okay? That's super, super powerful, you guys. And you can keep it going as much as you want. You click on save. And then you can create as many automations as you need based on what's going on in your business. Like this is one I just created right now. You hit communications over here on the left. You log in. You hit communications, you hover over communications, you click automations right here at the top, and that's gonna bring you here. Click on the green button and boom, set it up. So if this, in this case, it's anyone who lands on that list. And then down here, I have I have anyone that comes aboard with me monthly, they're off of these other lists. Um, I have um, book customers who completed five steps. I unsubscribe them from that list, right? So, so many different things that are going on. The um, lead cancel subscription to calendar, unsubscribe them from that list right so 
so many different automations that I have set up, you guys. So this right here is another reason why I love Karcher. I use Karcher for everything, for my landing pages, my digital products, selling my digital products, uh, my email automation, my freaking membership course. I'm now scaling everything to a digital course, and I'm fired up about that. Um, I host my course here under my memberships. I can host videos up here. So all these, all these videos that are on, on a lot of my landing pages, I host on video on, on, on Kartra. I host the video on Kartra. I use it for my calendars. So my calendars, man, when I'm, when I'm sending out emails, my emails, there's always a call to action to either buy something or to freaking schedule an appointment. Or I'm, or I'm sending you an email based on just value alone, right? You got to sprinkle those ones in. You got to sprinkle in the ones where you're just educating. You're just bringing value. There's no call to action. It's just freaking value. Sprinkle those in. But the majority of your emails are going to be call to action. Buy something, click here, cl click here to, to schedule an appointment, right? So my calendar is how I schedule my appointments. That's all Kartra. Um, and then, and then my, and then my, and then my campaigns, I can create funnels, which I do. I can create landing pages and funnels and email list and freaking, um, and, and, and sequences. I can create all that package it all, package it all up and then share it with you. Um, and once you, once you activate my shared funnel, you end up obviously going to clicking on my link, profitwithkartra.online. You set up your 14-day trial. You activate the code, right? You can activate any of these codes, and that whole entire funnel is transferred to you. Like that's what I do inside of inside of Kartra as well. So under my campaigns, I can I can I can build all these funnels. I can sell them to people, or I can build all these funnels and simply share them with people. I give them a code, they activate their 14 day trial, and boom, they have a whole funnel. So I do all that through Kartra, and then of course all my affiliate marketing. I made videos on my affiliate marketing. That's another extra income that I got co coming in simply because I refer the platform to other online entrepreneurs. So. Um, that's what I wanted to show you guys, man. Super powerful automations. That stuff I had to do right this second regardless. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys and bring some value. All right. So I appreciate you, man. Every single one of you, if you're into online marketing, if you're into social media marketing, make sure you subscribe. Make sure, make sure you smash the bell for notifications. I am literally in the trenches every day building a YouTube channel, building a social media agency, producing an online digital course, um, writing a freaking book, which I completed last year. This year, I'm going to be turning it into a physical book and publishing the damn thing. Right now, it's digital, but I, I spent a good part of last year writing that book. So I'm fired up, man. I'm fired up about making sales online and, and just overall online entrepreneurship in general. The new hustle is on the internet and you got to get a piece of it. So subscribe if you haven't already, man. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.